All right, so right here we got the memory foam mattress. This one is the 12 inch gel memory foam. So I've been a big fan of this brand in particular because of their material that they use is super comfortable and everything about it is pretty amazing. And then also for this one that we got right here, they have the cooling memory foam uh, base. So that way it's super helpful if you guys sweat a lot or when you guys are putting your blanket and everything, it's super warm or hot. This helps you guys cool down a bit, which is pretty interesting. And obviously for any type of the memory foam mattresses from this brand or another brand, they would definitely have it in different sizes. So for like twin size, full size, king size, queen size, and etc. In terms of the inches, they also have it in different inches as well. So they have it in like four inch, eight inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch, and the list goes on. But let's open up and see what the inside looks like first. All right, so we may open up the package on top. Let's see what it looks like on top. So this is the first thing you can see right here is that hello wonder has arrived and then right here live in wonder and we open up that part there this is what it looks like inside so you can see it's all nicely compressed so once you guys open up this part right here and cut it open it should expand and then right here it does look like they provide us a little instruction manual right here maybe a thank you note all right so it's probably you guys some instruction on how to set up and everything so right here to provide you guys all the instruction on how to set up and everything we have to take it out how to cut it and then let it expand so that's definitely really cute and really cool of them how they provide you guys some uh, postcard that's in use but let's take this out first All right, so once we take it out, you can see that this is basically what the part looks like right here. So what we'll do now is uh, take that part out, open it up and let it expand. But you can see that this is what the packaging looks like. It's all compressed. Obviously, if you guys are getting like the twin size or the full size, the smaller one, it won't be this big. But if you guys get like the queen size or king size, it will be around this big. So let's unravel it now and expand it onto the bed and see what it looks like. All right, so what we're gonna do first is take off this layer right here. So there's two layers. The first layer is holding up, compressing it together for the actual whole thing. And then there's another layer that's actually compressed for the actual mattress itself. So we're cutting this first layer first. All right, so we got the first layer. And what you guys want to do now is to put this on top of your bed frame. All right, so see that once we put it down like this, what you guys want to do next is to cut it open. So supposedly once you guys cut it, uh, it's supposed to inflate or whatever within like 24 to 72 hours. Obviously the longer the better, but it's completely fine. All right, so you can see that we took off the back now. So what you wanna do now is just have it positioned into your bed frame and just let it fully inflate. All right, so it's been a few hours right now and you see that it expanded a little bit, but it's not fully expanded yet. So it's supposed to take around like 72 hours, which is around like three days almost to fully expand it. But yeah, and see right now, this is how big it is so far. And this is like around 10 inches on this side. And on this side right here, you can see that it's not even up yet. So it definitely takes some time for it to fully expand because like one half of it is already expanded to a good amount and the other half is not. Uh, doesn't mean that you can't sleep on it. You guys definitely can still sleep on it, but it's just not fully expand to like the full extent of where it's supposed to be. So I think I'm gonna let this fully inflate for one or two days and then come back and check on it. All right, so once I put on the bed sheet, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. Obviously, it doesn't look like exactly perfect or whatever because I didn't fully fix it up. But you can see this is basically what it looks like once you guys fully set up the memory foam uh, mattress. Obviously, it's not fully expanded. You can see this part is still need to expand right here and also right here as well. And then this part right here is still kind of short or it's not fully expanded to 12 inch yet. But this size is around like 10 inch. So I'm just going to let this fully expand for a few more days first and then come back and check on it. All right, so this is day two so far. You can see that it's not fully inflated yet so far, but definitely is a little bit more sturdier and much stronger and more inflated than before. You can definitely feel how like sturdy or how strong it is. So I'm not sure if there's something stuck in there that's not coming out, but you can see they have this little gap right here that is uh, still need to be inflated. And when you guys take a look on this side right here, you can see that they also is not fully inflated here yet, but it's almost in that shape. So it might take a little bit longer, but you can definitely feel the material on the actual memory foam itself. Feels really, really nice. So I have this bed sheet that we have right here, and then we have this part right here that's not fully inflated yet, that we're still waiting for that part to fully inflate first as well. 
All right, so once I take off that pillow part right there, you can see that this is basically what it looks like now. So this part right here, like I mentioned earlier when I showed you guys, that part not fully inflated on the bottom part. And then right here, you can see they have this opening here as well that's not fully inflated there as well. So uh, like I mentioned, I don't know if it's because like the material or the cover inside the uh, memory foam is like holding it down so it can't inflate that area and probably is fully inflated. But you can see so far, this is basically what it looks like. And then for the one that I have right here, I am using a box spring right here. So if you guys have this kind of like a uh, bed platform in the bottom right here to hold it up, it's definitely really nice to get a box spring that is very similar to this one right here. There's a lot of other box springs out there that you can get, but this is the one that we have right here and actually it holds it pretty well. In terms of the bed frame that I saw in the bottom part right here, you guys can definitely get the one with the wheels or you guys can get the one without the wheels. That's up to you guys. I do prefer getting the one with the wheels so it's easier to move around if you guys do need to move like your uh, whole entire bed somewhere else. So this is basically a day two update to show you guys uh, what it looks like so far. But so far so good, the bed definitely feels pretty amazing. Uh, when you guys actually go on it and everything, definitely feels really, really comfortable. You definitely can feel that cooling effect of the mattress that they mentioned on that top layer. But we just have to wait for it to fully inflate on this side, that side, and also on the bottom part here as well. And obviously I am a huge fan of memory foam beds. The one we have right here, this is the queen size mattress. That is uh, the memory foam, obviously. Right here, we have the twin size, and this is also a memory foam mattress. At the time when I purchased this part right here, I didn't even know like there was a cooling uh, mattress or cooling option. So that's why I didn't get it at the time when I purchased this one. But this one right here, it definitely does have that option. So you definitely have the option to choose between those two. But this one that I got right here is also a 12 inch, and this is a 12 inch as well. All right, so it's been a few days, probably like four or five days now, and you can see that this part right here is fully inflated, but I think there's something that's holding it, so it's not letting it fully inflate to this part right here. But so far, the actual bed itself definitely feels really, really comfortable. You can definitely feel how sturdy it is. But you can see that once it's fully inflated, it is pretty thick and pretty strong and everything. It definitely has a very good support to it. And obviously on the bottom right here, we have the box spring right here. So one thing that I actually noticed about like the cooling uh, gel uh, memory foams that we have on this side versus the normal one that we have right here, this one is the regular one that's just a green tea memory foam that doesn't have the gel base part. This one, it definitely feels a lot more sturdy. It definitely has a lot more of a support on top. I'm assuming because of the gel that is on top. Whereas for this side, it doesn't have as much support and just sinks in really nicely. Let me actually take out some of these pillows right here and give you guys a better view of it. All right, so once we remove all the pillows, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. So this side, we definitely have the queen size mattress, which is a gel base. And this side, we have the normal one, which is the um, twin size. Let me actually hop on and show you guys what I mean. All right, so this is basically what it looks like once you guys hop on. It definitely feels really comfortable and you guys can just lie on it and definitely have the support on here. But now let me actually hop on the other one and show you what that looks like. So for this one, I actually submerge a lot more than the other one. You guys don't have as much support because of that cooling uh, gel base I mentioned on here. But both of them actually works really, really well. So if I had a choice between both of these, I think it's better to go for this one because you definitely have a lot more support and it feels a lot more sturdy compared to the other one that we have right here, which is normal green tea memory foam. This one, the cooling gel uh, memory foam, so you definitely have that cooling effect as well, which is super convenient when it's like hot and in summertime. But that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we can unbox it and test the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. I would definitely have to say that these are worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.